Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I have a Photoshop Elements Boot Camp course. And actually, this video that I'm going to play after the Info Puppet intro is going to be a sample of one of the lessons in my Photoshop Elements Boot Camp course. So you get to watch it for free! The good news is that I am going to play a lesson for free, and if you go to InfoPuppet.com and just fill out the little form, which is just your email and your first name, you can get another lesson for free. That's two free lessons. I'm going to play this free Photoshop Elements Bootcamp lesson, which, by the way, is going to teach you how to turn an image into a painting and make it look like a masterpiece. It is so cool. Right after this Info Puppet theme music. So uh, go ahead and start the theme music. Hello. It's so hard to find good help. And this is lesson nine in my Photoshop Elements Bootcamp course. Let's go ahead and review what we've learned so far. We've talked about all the tools in the View section of the toolbar and all the tools in the Select section of the Photoshop Elements toolbar and every tool in the Enhance section. And now we move on for the first time to the Draw section of the Photoshop Elements toolbar. We're going to start with the Brush tool. I love the Brush tool. Let's look at the image we're working on. Now, to select the brush, you're just going to click on the drop down. And let me explain what all this stuff means. So we're going to select, uh, I'm going to select, uh, let's say, a number 13. This is a hard, round, 13 pixels brush. 13 pixels in size. So let's see what that looks like. This is what a hard, round brush looks like when you draw with it. Now let's select a soft brush of the same size. So here's a soft, round brush. See the difference? Okay. Now a lot of people don't know this, but if you, uh, if you click on this drop down menu, let's go ahead and click on that, and scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's all kinds of cool shapes you can use with the brush tool. Look at that! So, see them all? I'm going to select this one right here. And I'm just going to left click and release. It's beautiful! What are they? I don't know, but I love them. Uh, let's try something else. How about, uh, let's try the leaf. Now I can left click and release for one leaf, but if I drag, I'll get a lot of leaves. It's fall and the winter! What's happening? Alright, and then there's a star. And I can left click and release and get some stars. It looks so cool. I love it. I'm hitting the undo button a bunch of times here now. Now we're going to get onto the really good stuff. Alright, so let's come down here and we're going to select now the Impressionist Brush Tool. Yes, I said Impressionist! Alright, we're going to bring this down to like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, just two pixels. This is the way to work this tool. Then you click on Advance and turn the area all the way up to 500. This is the key, guys, to using this tool. Okay, tolerance is at zero, area is at 500, and the size is way down. Now let's see what kind of style do we want to select. Let's start with loose medium. I love loose medium. What this tool does is it turns an image into a painting. Now I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but you gotta look uh, kind of hard. I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. And what Photoshop Elements is doing is it's moving the pixels around in the image so that they resemble paint strokes. Starting to look like a painting! Look at that! It is so cool!
Okay, let's go back to advance and let's try another style. Um, I think I'm in the mood for some, uh, let's say some, uh, tight curl. So let's go ahead and show you what the tight curl looks like. You see the little curls all over the place. I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging is all I'm doing. Understand, I have a very small brush, but because I selected 500 pixels, it's moving out in a wide area. And I just hit undo. I think that's too large, so I'm going to turn, make my brush even smaller to just one pixel. And I think this looks a lot better. See the difference though, the big difference between a two pixel brush and a one pixel. So you can play around with this and get the desired effect that you want. Look at it, it looks so awesome! Okay, now we're going to click on advance again and let's try one more style and that's loose curl. And here comes all the loose curls. So again, this is giving yet another effect of a painting on my image. This works with any type of image at all. If you want to tell your colleagues and your friends that you're an artist, this is how to do it digitally. Never left the paint stroke in your life. No mess, no cleanup. It's all done in Photoshop Elements. All right, we're gonna move on from the Impression Press tool to the Color Replacement tool. Color Replacement tool is really cool. Contiguous uh, is really what you want. It just means it's going to color around pixels that are similar. Tolerance, I keep it at about 30% and the size, I'm going to start with 13 pixels. Now let's get rid of this one and open up this image. Okay, so what we can do is, first of all, we're going to hit the Alt or Option button down on your keyboard, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC, to sample the color that you want to use. Okay. Then once you do that, I'm just left-clicking, holding, and dragging the color that I sampled when I held down the Alt or Option key on my keyboard. If you have a Mac, you're going to hold the Option key down. The PC, you're going to hold down the Alt key. So you hold down the appropriate key and then left click and release to create your sample. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, now I've got the sample of the sand and now I'm just painting this color onto her dress. But you see what Photoshop Elements does is it's not just really painting, but it's an overlay. So you can see all the creases in the dress and the movement of the dress underneath the new color. I like that color on her. Now, the other thing you can do is you can sample a color from one image and use it on a second image. So I just clicked on the sand and again, I'm just coloring in this white dress and changing it to kind of a, a sand color. This is definitely a sand color. I know, I sampled it myself. All right, now let's say, now look, it's not only dresses, but let's say you want to change the skin tone. I like this, this girl is a little tan over here. Now this won't be the best color because it's the back of the arm and it's shaded from the sun. See what I mean? But if you, um, you know, find a girl who's tan and the sun's shining on her arm, it'll look better. But as you see, I'm still going through and showing you how you can change the skin tone or maybe just um, give someone a tan who needs one really bad. Now, of course, I'm being careful here when I go over the face not to go over the teeth or the eyes. Okay. This concludes lesson number nine. 
We're almost halfway there. I will see you in lesson 10. Thanks again for checking out my free Photoshop Elements Bootcamp lesson. If you like this lesson, you can go click here to go to infopuppet.com and get another Photoshop Elements Bootcamp lesson for free. Yes. So go ahead, click on the button. Well, what are you waiting for? Click on the button. It's over here. Go ahead. Click on it. You can do it. Did you click on it?